The Duke Dennis experience. This got to be top tier glazing, y'all. It may not look like it, but to many, this guy's an example of a peak male. And the evidence backs it up. Effortlessly getting females left and right. You like big women? I do. Good. Yeah. And having niggas out the country showing extra love to him like he's yeah. Michael Jackson. Duke Dennis. Duke Dennis. My Pookie Wookie. My Pookie Wookie. We love you. We love you. Come to E. Come to E. Kiss kiss. Kiss kiss. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. This shouldn't be happening so easily and effortlessly. Damn. And I think it's time to properly make a video on this situation that's going on. Duke, to many, is inevitable. And as we go through some comp- Inevitable? What is he, the Denver Nuggets? Yo! Compilations of videos, you're not only gonna see this whole movement he's got going on as luck, but maybe it's just an art that he developed over time. But how did this so-called Duke Dennis experience start? Well, in short, I will say though, I think motherfuckers got internet personalities. People get known for certain shit. For the thing, the thing you get known for is being aura man is crazy. The thing you become a meme for is becoming that guy and that shit actually work is crazy. I can't lie, dude. Be tall and get money. But the actual answer, it starts right around here. When he was a broke nigga in the military. Duke was indeed broke and in the military trying to make a name for himself. Uh, it, it definitely was like a part of my journey. But as I get older, I know like it definitely taught me some valuable like traits, like discipline and things like that. But other than that, I feel like I wasted a lot of time. I feel like my life didn't really start until I got out. He quickly realized that to him, this was a waste of time and he was getting older and not really making money. Or the money he wanted to make wasn't there. He went into detail with his army story time he made a while back. They really did me. Y'all can't see him. Y'all can see him. Hold on. I'll put myself down here. Dirty. You know what I'm saying? So in Germany, I, here I was in Germany on the other side of the world. My mama and them was still in the United States. I was lonely. I ain't had no friends. I was mad. I ain't had no car. <laughs> Bro, they really did me dirty, bro. Duke made the decision to join the military as an alternative to pursuing a college education and staying in his hometown. Initially hey, chat, what, what would it take for you to join the military? If if that's something that's not even crossing your mind, like what 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 circumstances would need to happen for you to join the military? It seemed like a viable option to him, offering a way to escape his hometown and explore new opportunities. But his experience in the army quickly turned bad when he entered basic training. The reality of military life hit him hard, and he realized he made a mistake. Despite his initial motivations, the challenges of military life, including homesickness. Okay, TCS is not working. Duke Dennis glazing tonight was not on my bingo card. However, as a army guy myself, fuck it, I support Duke it, Duke type shit. 500k per minute, sir, yes, sir. To get in motherfuckers to say that just by looking at them. Oh my god. If I had a child and nothing else but a 9 to 5. I was going to join the Marines until I got diagnosed with epilepsy. Jeez. Uh, I think we use, we use the military as a last resort. Depression and a dislike for authority made his time in the army difficult. So he had a decision to make. Get the hell out of the military and start from scratch or just continue with the military and see what happens. After all, he was there for four years. I think we all know what he chose, but to the people who don't know, he dropped out. After leaving the army, Duke found himself in a search of a job, which led to a job at a plastic making company at Barry Plastics, which he hated. I never met someone who joined the military and it wasn't a I don't know what else to do decision, including family, came back looking still looking for a career but at least they got some support now. Yeah, Every, everyone that I know that joined the military is on that same type of timing. I will say though, I know motherfuckers um, in the Philippines that joined the military um, and boy they be they be moving different. I don't, I don't know what military benefits are. But I just know military benefits are on a whole nother level. I will say that. Now, the things you got to do to be in the military consistently, I just don't know enough to speak on it. But all I say is motherfuckers really be flexing those military benefits, though, once they come in. <laughs> Barry's plastic. Is this a... It's a plastic making company. Coming out from the army, like, I ain't have no money, so I just tried to get a regular job. And I was there for 29 days. Are you in the military? I almost fell in, into the like plastic making machine. Like I was tired, like I, I didn't get no sleep the previous night, so I came to work. I was working from 12 to 12, graveyard shift. I didn't get no sleep the previous night, so I came to work at 12 and I was up two, three hours. And I almost fell asleep in, in front of the machine. 
and I woke up pretty much like catching myself. And like the plastic maker rolled. Not it was just like rolling like in my face while I mean, I'm after sitting, four like, years I'm like man maybe this <laughs> so contract was up how long was a typical contract Duke probably never imagined his path to success would be paved by NBA 2K, but it was. But Duke found inspiration in Saul Luminati, a popular YouTuber known for his NBA 2K content and lifestyle videos. Watching early Saul Luminati's videos motivated Duke to start his own journey in the gaming world. You could even tell he bit Saul's lingo and style from his older NBA 2K videos. And not only did he get dropped off once, but twice! Now this dude is actually a real cool dude, you know what I'm saying, he a, he a real cool dude. As Duke began creating Hey man, I think, you know what's crazy? I think every YouTuber had a blueprint. Every every YouTuber has a blueprint. Every YouTuber has like some dude they looked up to that they're trying to emulate. And it's funny seeing the similarities uh, similarities and cadence between YouTubers. A lot of motherfuckers wanted to be Chris Move or the longest. And then that pivoted into trying to be so. Um, and I don't know who that is now. I mean, you, you see um, with a lot of the speed clones... Like, motherfuckers are really inspiring for us. So I don't... I, I'm not even saying that Brody's trying to diss Duke for being a Soluminati copycat, but I think that's just natural, bro. In his own NBA 2K videos, he gradually gained traction and built his own fan base. This is what Duke was known for, strictly gaming content and nothing else, as he would gain a million subscribers doing so. As he got more popular in the gaming scene, he established a relationship with like-minded content creators. As Chat, I can't even imagine getting... A million subscribers playing 2K in 2024, dog. I don't think it's possible. I'm gonna keep like you would have to be a sketch level of entertainer for that shit to happen. And I don't, I don't think that's possible in 2K, dog. Like I see if 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 you get a channel to 300K, 400K in 2024, um, yeah, no, I I can still see that, but, bro. Getting a million subs in 2K, that shit is dead, dog. Let alone Twitch. You gotta all, you gotta already have the foundation to get the mill. Yeah. That Their individual similar. channels gained traction and popularity. They realized the potential of joining forces to create something even bigger, which was obviously AMP. Eventually, the idea of living together under one roof in Atlanta took shape. This move not only strengthened their friendship, but also solidified their status as a force in the digital content creation landscape. But why am I saying all this? And what does this have to do with Duke, you may ask? I, I can't lie. When AMP formed and they added Kai as a regular, that, that confused me. I can't lie. When they added Kai, I, I know it's a long time now. Obviously, it makes sense now. But I thought when AMP formed, it was going to be a 2K group. I'm, I'm going to keep it a stack. I thought the formula was uh, just another 2 hype, essentially. And boy, did they, they fucking skyrocketed. And obviously, the Kai move was probably the, the, the biggest game changer for that group in hindsight. But... Bro, when that group formed, I, I did not see it becoming the thing that it is now, bro. Well, Duke is a yes, part of AMP, duh. But also, this inspired Duke to switch up his content and make an easy transition to IRL content on his second channel. Cause you know, AMP does IRL content all the time. Slowly but surely, Duke abandoned his main channel and the second channel turned to his main, as it would pass his gaming and sub count. This is where the Duke Dennis takeover, if you will, starts. AMP being the main reason. You see, with AMP, there's room for a ton of content to be made, whether it be a group video or whatever. And they are in the same house, so anything could happen at any given moment. In the early stages of AMP, it was all about Duke and Kai, the start of where they all went mainstream, specifically on Kai's streams. He would stream basically every day in the crib doing whatever, and would go viral. Then of course there would be the streams with Duke, when he would walk in whenever, and it would be straight comedy. Like this video of Duke and Kai competing on who has the best game. And hey, let me come out tomorrow. Girl, real quick. Yeah, the girl. Stop. Come on, you know I like that. Chill out. Shh. Don't that. Yes. <laughs> hey, Duke really buffed the fuck up since since this video, bro. Nah, she <laughs> might sleep. Hello. What you doing? Uh, I was writing down some stuff. <laughs> Let me know when you outside. <laughs> Is that where that meme came from? The <laughs> yo yo. Hold on, let me try that. Sh let me try that. Sh I'm gonna just do the. 
I didn't I didn't really say anything. Nigga, let me just try, bro. Man, really? Nah, what the man? It was fun. I ain't hear from you in days. Unspoken ring. Nah, I'm not. I'm done. I'm talking to you, but this just go on the phone. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. The 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 day I knew AMP was different, chap, was when I went to a bar crawl in Worcester. And some white boys were saying Riz ironically. Like that's that's what I knew, bro. Like the influence is bigger than just my internet circle. The influence Bro, Riz, Riz, Riz is like internet language now. You know what I'm saying? And I will say, when I heard that shit in, in, in um, real life, I cringed like crazy. I was like, no way I just heard someone say Riz in public. But yeah, Riz is used ironically now, if, if anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Riz, Riz, Riz isn't even slang anymore. Like it's it's ironic now. You use you use Riz when you're trying to say something's cringy, at least in my opinion. Um now when I catch myself saying W and IRL <laughs> that's when I wanna end it all. Now that's funny, bro. And <laughs> hey, that's a W right there. Head ass. Phone was somebody laughing. Do you still talk to Asian ever? No, I don't talk to Asian anymore, man. I know I I don't I don't have a reason to, to be honest with you. Um like for a year, our our relate me and Agent's relationship was purely business. Like literally, literally nothing else, bro. Like he, that's about it. Bro, get out, bro. Oh bro, this is literally right here on the phone with somebody. What's up? Now I'm talking to you though, but Soul Link tonight, yeah, 11:30, chat, 11:30. We doing Soul Link at 11:30. Now hold on, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Nah. Oh my, bro, you let him. This is also the early origin of the word Riz yeah, going like mainstream. Pokemon. In fact, this very stream, I would say, was the introduction to Duke being seen as this otherworldly phenomenon. To understand what I'm talking about, look no further with these compilation videos I put up. <laughs> oh my God, we took my head normal. The same way I suck this shit, I might not do it to you, but baby, I'm gonna it's make okay. this great. It's okay. As long as you get my brother. Yes. It's all right. Oh, this nigga look hot, yo. Oh, this look good right here, bro. No gay shit. I Yo! Keep Don't keep it real no more, man. I gotta keep it a buck. Max, like, what the fuck? This look hot. Hey, what is that? You're the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's P. Glaze right there. Yo, they was about to jump, girl, and they said, wait, wait, wait. Is that, is that Duke Dennis? Yo, that's crazy, Glaze, bro. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Still acting like the man. Yeah. Is Duke a superhero? Yeah. He glaze him. What the f? What the f? What the f? Duke? No, Duke, get the f out here, Duke. Duke, get the f out here. Duke. Duke. Get the f out here. Duke. What do you need? Like that ass? Okay. Oh, I remember this video. Now, Omar sent me this video. I was rolling. I, I want a disclaimer. I'm coming a little thirsty. I'm not a thirsty girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I Whatever am for you. you. Need, dude, like that ass. I'm, I, I'm being silly because I'm a goofy girl. I'm in the military right now. I get out in a year, Duke. January 2025, I'm out of this hole. You feel me? And what do you need, bro? On oh, God, like, I will really work for you, dude. Like, that ass. I'm work. Like, I'm, I, I want this, Duke. So, Luck donated $2. Nah, honestly, bro, that type of aura is inspiring, bro. That, like, that inspires me to be better. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fact that that aura is, is reachable, like, 
dollars and fifty cents. Duke looks better than you, nigger. Ha ha. In return, these clips help bolster Duke Dennis to the top in terms of online presence. I mean, you got niggas making deciphering videos on how he's able to maintain this, dare I say, aura at this age. Mm -hmm. And people think this shit is luck on how he got here, but I don't know who needs to hear this, but no, it's not. Maybe a little bit, but based on his upbringing, this man had it rough, and he willed his way to the top. The army didn't stop him from getting to the top, which to him was consecration. It's proof with hard work and dedication, and maybe a little luck, you can make it anywhere. Hey man, nine minutes of glazing is crazy, but I respect the fuck out of it though. I respect the fuck out of it. I can't lie. That's W glazing right there.